Hi, I'm John Kelly, and today we're going to be looking at the Chromebook Pixel from Google. So here we have the uh, Chromebook Pixel from Google. This isn't available in the Irish market yet, it's in the US and the UK and some parts of Europe, but certainly not uh, Ireland yet. So I just happen to have it because I, I know certain people who happen to be able to get me a review copy of it. Uh, I'd say it'll be coming out in Ireland in the next couple of months. The interesting thing about the Chrome browser is it's uh, it's basically built on a actual uh, browser. Uh, it's an operating system that is a browser and the what I like about that is that uh, you know all the apps uh, that you use from Google and, and really people probably use more stuff from Google than they actually realize uh, are, are gathered here pr pretty nicely. Um, but what's, what's, what, what I really think uh, Google are trying to do here is, is make computing more versatile, more uh, democratic I suppose and just simpler and get it into as many hands as possible. Uh, the only thing about the Chrome Pixel, so the Chromebook Pixel is that uh, when you talk about democratic and getting into as many hands as possible, uh, it's not cheap, so it's uh, really not gonna achieve that objective. It costs about $1,300, which works at about a thousand euros here. So when you think about the market, it's already kind of full of devices like uh, Windows RT devices, uh, people buying uh, iPads, uh, Android uh, tablets, uh, PCs running Windows 8, and you know, there it's a pretty full market. The the machine itself, uh, it's made out of a anodized aluminum uh, alloy, uh, which basically is a very, very nice metal. Uh, really, the interesting thing about this in terms of design is there are no screws visible. You cannot see a single screw on this machine. It's, it's uh, very seamless like that. Um, it's you know got all your usual inputs two USB points uh, HDMI uh, cable power input earphones um, you know just really nice design so the fundamental thing that's different about Chromebook uh, pixel compared to the other um, say devices in the Chromebook family um, is the fact that first and foremost it has this beautiful display i think it's about uh 239 pixels per inch which is beyond our equivalent to the to the uh retina display on, on uh, macbook airs and i'm not sure if it's been bested yet by some new windows 8 devices from samsung but certainly uh, when 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 google announced this they claimed this to be the most high definition screen or high pixel per inch screen uh, on the market and hence the name Pixel. Um, it's basically uh, got a nice glass um, mouse pad tr tracker pad here which is just so responsive, allows you to do so many things uh, quite cr instinctively and easily and again it's just a testament to good design. Um, going on about design again, the as you notice you can't see any speakers on this machine, the speakers are actually tucked underneath the keyboard. The other thing that's fundamentally different about this device is that it is actually, um, actually it's a touch screen device. So I can actually just go up and down on the screen, um, you know, check out my apps, uh, whenever I'm looking for, I want to go to Google Maps, I can just, you know, go here, I want to zoom in, I can zoom in quite nicely. Again, very responsive uh, screen. Doesn't seem to kind of get fouled up with your fingerprints either, which I don't know if there's any technological reason for that, but it just is something I kind of enjoyed about the device. Um, the good thing about Chromebook is, again, um, you find yourself using more Google apps than you'd probably realize in your life. So most things here, Google Drive, Google Calendar, YouTube, Google Maps, um, you know, games, Google, YouTube, you name it, we all use these things. So it's again, it's 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 not quite um, the same as uh, a PC in the sense that you can load on software as you like. But you're really relying on stuff being in the in the App Store. And in fairness, the you know the App Store for Google um, is for Chrome. Chrome apps is actually you know pretty good. I really, really, really like the uh, the touch screen on this, and I think it has a very, very good bright screen. Um, so if you're the kind of person who just likes the current apps, uh, just browsing online, uh, 
you know, this will suit you. If you're a person, though, who has to work and you need to work offline, um, you know, this will also suit you. I, I've, I've actually gone to meetings where I've used Google Docs and it goes into offline mode and uh, I can just write my documents. Uh, I don't miss a beat. It keeps everything safe for me. And as soon as I go back online, I can access it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really good. So it's good responsive software. Okay, so just to talk about about what the, the the what's inside the machine, it is actually again. I think it's Google trying to prove a point and influence the future direction of computing among consumers. Uh, most people aren't looking for a full operating system; they just want their apps. But at the same time, they want to enjoy things like beautiful photography, wonderful film, and a display that that you know works with their lives. And it's and again, a machine that's really quintessentially very light. Um, it's powered by an Intel Core i5 Ivy Bridge processor. Um, it's got four gigabytes of RAM, uh, one terabyte of storage on it in in, in, sorry, in one terabyte of storage in the Google Cloud and drive, and a thirty-two gigabyte solid state drive inside the machine. So it's again very high end, and it, it probably explains why it costs about a thousand euros to buy, uh, which would be you know. Uh, you probably spend about the same amount on a Apple uh, MacBook Air basic model. It's got a SD multi-card reader, uh, two USB ports. Um, uh, the high definition camera on it is about 720 um, p, which is quite good for uh, taking photographs again and recording film. Film. Uh, it's got two built-in microphones, and uh, the battery is about five hours of battery life. It's 59. Uh, what battery and, and so you expect about five hours out of it. Uh, so yeah, I think I think this is um, again Google influencing the future of computing. People want light, versatile devices. Uh, again, ergonomically, it's got this beautiful keyboard that uh, is backlit, uh, not too crowded with buttons. Lovely, lovely spaced out um, keys on it. Everything is designed to be not intimidating but easy to use so it's a beautiful device uh, I think it's got uh, you know for in terms of future direction I think it's Google influencing what computers are going to be like in, in, in the future but uh, at the same time I don't see it being a mass market for success really for the price uh, I think about a thousand euros uh, people have so much to choose for from these days whether it's a Windows a Mac or any other device that they want whether it's a tablet so I think again it's in bad influence rather than dominance and there you have it the Chromebook Pixel